What's going on guys? Jax the Bearded Hiker here. I'm gonna be making you guys up Zia's Asian Sesame Fried Oysters. Now these oysters are so freaking delicious. I get them every time I go to Zia. Now you may not know what Zia is, and Zia is a small restaurant chain here in the South, Louisiana, Alabama, uh, maybe a few other places. But you don't have to live near Zia in order to try these oysters out because I'm going to bring Zia to you. Now I'm going to show you guys what's in it. Now this is the legit recipe. This is not a copycat recipe. This is the actual recipe from Zia. Let's get busy! Alright, so what I have here is two cups of regular white flour. I have one cup of yellow cornmeal, one cup of white cornmeal, and one teaspoon of kosher salt and then I've mixed it about. Now this is going to be our batter for the oysters. All right, if you notice here, I also have some herbs, and you're going to need some cilantro, some chopped green onion, and also some chopped basil that's been cut into ribbons. Now, understand these herbs here are just for garnish. And so I'm just trying to recreate the whole experience of Zia. So you could technically leave these herbs out of the mix if you wanted to. Oh, and of course, you're also going to need some oysters. Now these are fresh Gulf oysters from New Orleans. I just picked these bad boys up today, so I know they are very fresh. You're also going to need some roasted sesame seeds. Um, you could probably uh, use plain sesame seeds if, if you want, but again, uh, Zia uses roasted. Okay, another thing to make this thing authentic is this stuff right here. This is from Zia. It's a Thai rib sauce, and this is what they sprinkle on their oysters. Now, if you can't find this, okay, you could easily use a stir-fry sauce or you could use some type of a sweet chili glaze that you might pick up at an Asian market. Strictly up to you, but we're trying to stay, or we are staying authentic here, so gotta use that. And lastly, you'll need some chopped cabbage. And this is my chopped cabbage. This happens to be Napa cabbage, and I believe that that is the style cabbage that Zia uses. And basically what they do is they take this cabbage and they lay it on the plate and then they lay their oysters on top of the cabbage, sprinkle it with herb, these herbs, and then drizzle it with the Thai chili sauce. So uh, we're gonna take this stuff outside and we're gonna get to frying so we can smash our face into these oysters. All right guys, so we are outside and we got our oil heating up and we need our oil to be 350 degrees, but as you can see in this bottom left hand corner, we're only at 264 degrees So when it gets to 350, we're gonna start frying these bad boys up. All right guys We're up to a little over 350 and we're gonna start adding in our Oysters here now. I want to say this. This is peanut oil That is what Zia fries their oysters in. You could use can canola oil, but again, we're keeping this authentic. All right, guys. So, oysters, it's really about your preference, but you want to make them golden brown. So, it can be anywhere from like a couple of minutes to three minutes, but you want them about like this. This is a nice golden color. It's actually probably been about two minutes. All right, so now uh, let's, uh, I'm going to just show you what we got here so far. This is our uh, first batch here. Nice golden color. All right, so we're going to keep going. All right guys, so we got our uh, oysters fried up, so let's go ahead and plate this stuff. We're gonna lay our cabbage down first, then comes our oysters. And they give you, I believe, six. 
So that's exactly what we're going to do. Well, let's add another one here. Let's go one more. All right. So then comes our sauce. All right. Now comes our herbs. And just lightly do it. That was our green onion. Let's do just a little bit of cilantro here. Lightly on that. And then a little bit of basil. All right, now, uh, I think it's time to uh, smash our face in these bad boys. All right, we're plated up. So what I didn't show in the other frame is I forgot to put the sesame seeds, sprinkle it with sesame seeds. So I did sprinkle that. So uh, now it's time to taste it. Here we go. Mmm. Oh yeah. Okay. They taste exactly like I bought them at Zia. The only difference is right now, I mean, I've took some pictures of this before I've done the video. So they're a little bit colder than they would have been there, but the flavor is spot on. So Zia's Asian fried oysters. Do it.